Okay. Welcome back. Um, happy Father's Day and happy Sunday to everybody. Um, for everybody that's a father out there, uh, thank you for doing what you're doing every day. Um, it's greatly appreciated. So, what's up, Quentin? How you doing, man? Uh, sorry I didn't get your message the other time I was in stream. I wasn't reading the uh, the multi stream chat, so it's my bad, man. So I'm trying to get better at doing this whole multi stream thing. So. But anyways, let's get this fired up. I don't know why I have, don't have the game fired up. Um, take a sip of this coffee here. So how you doing on this Sunday? Let's get to this stuff. All right, so make sure my sound's on this time. Cool. So yesterday was my the wife and my one second, I gotta make sure this sound is on. Okay, sweet, there you go. Should be good now. All right. So Quentin, I made you and um and Vincent uh, moderators because you guys are always at the stream, and I know you guys. You guys have been here since it started, so. Cool. So I finished up Cherm Cherno Cherno Kamensk. Yeah, no problem, man. You're always in here as soon as I start to stream, and I appreciate that. So I know you and uh, you and Vincent are always like super supportive. So I definitely want to make you guys mods. All right, so let's I'll have to go through this a little bit here. So Cherno, I finished everything, actually. Oh, hold on a second. I think I know what to do here. I'm just like messing up here. Settings. Just wheel prompts. There we go. I think that's. I think that's what was going wrong. Yeah. What, what have you been doing? Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's it's down. I think it doesn't zoom out a lot though. Feels like I could zoom out farther before. No worries. Anyways, yeah, I completed it. So now we're in Cosmo Drone. Okay. Yeah, I base. I mean, I've done. I've done a lot. I completed this. Completed all those tasks. So, what I'm trying to do right now? Oh, and that's right. I need to get the the loaf. Hey Liam, how you doing man? Happy Sunday and happy Father's Day as well. I need to get, I'm gonna do something here. This guy out. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah man, um, playing multi uh, multiplayer on this is really fun. I was playing it with my with my brother for a little bit and then he kind of stopped playing so it was fun super fun that's like the best way to play this game especially like these maps here you can knock so much out with, with somebody else helping so here's my little train of metal beams uh yeah I, I do man I, I try to collect it and have at least one of them all but um, there's a bunch I don't have because um, on this playthrough, since my last playthrough was deleted, I haven't done Amandra or I haven't done the Kola Peninsula and I haven't, um, haven't done, what's the other one? The Yukon yet. 
But yeah, I, I mean, I'm trying to get my vehicles up. So I'm probably going to crane this guy up on top the roof of the Zix. Um, this is kind of like a Mr. Lone Wolf thing. So I'm basically taking all these metal beams over to the, the last map that doesn't have a garage. Uh, and I'm doing this just because I don't want to make metal beams on Erska River. It's just a lot of super snow. It's just a lot of like hassle, to be honest. So I think that doing this is just a better option. But who knows? We'll see. Kind of like doing this as like a test, I guess. I'm not a fan of the crafting, especially since they kind of like changed the, the crafting in this map. Oh, don't spin around, my dude. Why aren't you this way? I think, I think Mr. Lone Wolf will be proud here. Uh, what am I doing? Should be better at this crane, huh? That's good enough. That should be good enough. Shoot. Zix. Pack trucks. Okay. Drummond Island. Oh, wait. No, that's the Pacific P-16, I think. Man, that, that's a beastie truck. I love the P-16. P16 is a monster, man. What's going on here? Why can't I go to my, my vehicles? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm in. That's why. There we go. Oh, that's right. I need to bring out fuel. I forgot. My bad, guys. Sorry. I've been like plugging away um, off stream and when I'm not like doing any like production on videos I'm, I try to like speed run I guess you would call it fast track this stuff so I have been moving pretty quick but every time I leave off and then come back to the game I'm always like basically like wondering what I'm doing so you're gonna see some screw ups on this one because we are going to a new map. So yeah, I ran to the bottom of this map to get metal beams. And I'm going to take those over to the, the other map. Uh, are you up? But, I mean, yeah, the P-12 is a good good truck, too, I have to say. I like the P-12. I like the Pacific trucks a lot. I'm just a fan of the American trucks, to be honest. We'll fill up the con. Why not? We cover you. Why does it keep coming back to Cherno? I'm in Cosmodrome. That's so weird. Like, keeps forcing me back there. Alright. Here we go. Off we go. Hopefully this loaf stays on top. I wonder... Okay, so you might hear my Roomba. Um, it's been on for like an hour and a half, so... She hits my door and it sounds like a... Crazy loud sound. That's what it is, so I apologize. 
I was actually wondering if I could pack this truck on top of this cargo. I would like it there better than on top of my head. Oh, another thing I wanted to like bring up is uh I've been I've been working on well not really working, I've been kinda like brainstorming on like a tips video. But not like just like basic tips. I wanna do like advanced tips for like um I guess I would call it like advanced tips for like um efficiency. Because I don't know, I feel like a lot of people get turned away from this game because everything takes so long and as soon as you make a mistake you have to do everything again so I kind of want to like make a video and I'm kind of like been brainstorming about things to put in it so that's something I'm going to work on but I'm definitely focused on finishing my truck review series though okay so I'm just going to roll up a little bit here. Actually, I'll go through the portal. <laughs> the portal. <laughs> it's like it's going to a different dimension or something. I'll go through the tunnel, and then um, I'll jump back to the Tega and bring him through. Because he's probably going to have to pull me um, on these roads. Because I'm like slipping everywhere, as you see. So the reason I'm bringing over all these uh, these metal beams um, is because there's a lot of tasks over here that, that require metal beams, and I just don't feel like doing these shuttles to make cargo here on the Erska River. I just don't want to do it. So I'd rather try to shuttle most of them up there now. While I'm bringing a scout to like um, get towers and the last upgrade. I believe I needed seven metal beams total. Kind of like did my homework on it. It's probably going to be more to be honest, but I have six now. So that'll kind of like help me a little bit. Cut some time off. I know. Wait, was it fast or slow? Oh, okay. Yeah, man, I just got a new... I don't know if I told you guys about this. I got a new laptop. Um, I think it's... I never have the, the specs. Um... Specs of it are on my, I think my Twitch page, but anyway, it's a, uh, an Asus SCAR, um, SCAR 17 with a, a RTX 3080 in it. So yeah, man, it's, I, <laughs> I definitely spent quite a bit of money on it or quite a bit, some cash, but I've been saving for it since about like 2017 ish. Like when I was in the military, I was like, man, I'm gonna save now because I know they're gonna have something crazy come out. So, it's not the best laptop out on, out on the market right now. I think the, uh, I think MSI has one out. Oh shit, that's right, I need to pull him. MSI, MSI has a, uh, it's called the GE76 Raider and it's benchmarks on like video games and stuff are just so much better. Well, not so much better, but, but anyways, I can, I can render videos, when I do videos, all the new ones that you've seen that have came out in like 1440p, um, I basically can render those in like 30 minutes, opposed to two and a half hours on my old laptop. So for a quality aspect, like everything new that I'm doing is, is a lot better because of this. So wait, Quentin, 20 seconds. Do you play PC or... Uh, um, what's it called? Console. Okay, 
Okay, let's not tip this stuff. This is going to be kind of hard to get over here, but as soon as we get off these slick roads, we'll be all right. You think longer? Oh, wow, man. Oh, console. Okay. Do you have a PS5 or like a new... I don't, I don't even know what the new Xbox is called. I wonder how those compare, honestly, the new Xboxes and PS5s and stuff. Okay, PS4. I have this game on PS4 too. But... Because, dude, I love console. Like, I really do. I think I'm like... I'm more of a console person. Like, you know how there's like those people who are like, kind of... They're like, I guess you would say PC nerds. They're always like, yeah, PC everything, man. I always grew up with console, so... But as soon as I switched over to doing PC, I think like... Everything seemed a little bit better. Just because I think you get more processing power and... I don't know. Okay. We made it past that part. So I'm gonna switch positions here. Have the big guy pull me. So I'll just go around it. Hopefully it doesn't like dump me off. So as you'll find out, uh, I'm not the best player at this game. So I represent the uh, anybody who is below average at, at off-roading games. Kind of rough. Oh, please don't tip, Tega. Please don't tip, man. I don't need this right now. Actually, no, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go up here and get him squared away, and then I'll come back. I definitely, I would tip him if I was hauling him through, for sure. No doubt in my mind. But I need to go turn his engine off, though. Yep. He's, like, ready to tip right now. Oh, gosh. So I think that this is the first time I ever put a scout on top of my, my truck and packed him. It's kind of weird. Feels feels very odd. I really thought about putting like a Tuz, like a Tuz 16 up there. And then packing him with the uh, his fuel carrier add-on. And that would have gave me like so much more range. So I think I'm going to have to have somebody bring me fuel. Okay, let's just stay up right here. sure after we get down here like oh wait I can't go that way it's right go this way so for anybody who is like playing the these maps like there is a light at the end of the tunnel or there's like a reprieve as soon as you get to Cherno Cherno is like it's not as trollish especially with like the uh, the super snow and stuff I feel like Erskine River, like you got that taste of like the, the madness, I guess you would call it, the phase four madness. And then Cosmo Drone was like equally as bad. And then like when I got over the turnout, I just 
Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna remember this part. Like, I legitimately should have tipped over right there. Okay, don't tip over trailer, please. Thank you. Okay, let's stop here. Let's go get this Tega. Oh my goodness. You poor thing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is here. Back on center here. Okay, cool. Good to go. All right, uh, let's just we're just gonna run it. But yeah, anybody watching who hasn't, it was new, I guess, and just kind of like checking the channel out. Um, actually, yeah, I need to do something real quick. Because every time I, I do a stream, sorry guys, every time I do a stream, it never puts it on, on YouTube correctly. So, let me just go to this real quick. I just need to switch a setting. Like YouTube never recognizes the game I'm playing, so if anybody's like searching for a live stream or something like that, like you can't find it because it never says it. Okay, cool, we're good. I'm back. Okay. I feel that they should make six slot cargos. Like these should be six slots. Um, that's why, like, I carry this stuff on my head all the time. Come on, Tega, let's go. A oh, little lag spike there. Come on, Tega, let's go. I don't know, just, like, five slots just seems odd. I don't, I don't know, like... It would be really good. Like, I think... I used to think semi-trailers were really daunting. And, like, this is something I might do on my tips video is... Is mention something about these. And I know I kind of did on my... On my last... On my review on the Zix. I think when I started playing, I was like, nope. Not using semi-trailers. Like, they look too, like, intimidating. But... I mean... You can get so much done. Like, I've strung so many, like, tasks together with, with semi-trailers, it's unreal. Ahmed Sharif, thank you so much for the, for the subscribe, man. Appreciate it. Oh, no! Wasn't paying attention. I have to go this way. Thank you for the subscription, man. I appreciate that. Happy Father's Day. Happy Sunday. I don't know if I pronounced your name right. I probably slaughtered it, so forgive me for that as well. I'm definitely terrible with reading names. I think, like, English was my worst subject, to be honest. <laughs> Actually, it was. Math is probably second worst for me. But yeah, I mean, speaking of, like, schooling, um, I just grabbed- Whoa, no, no, no! Wait, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm trying to think how I can get myself out of this. Oh, I know how. I know exactly how. Yep, just like that. Boom. Let's go. Let's 
go. Let's go, dude. Just like I knew what I was doing. I'm so surprised that worked. And I can't believe it worked on stream. Like, anytime I stream, I feel like I just... I look like a complete idiot, which I am. I can't believe that worked. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I was like, in that sec in that moment, I was like, um... Okay, cool. In that moment, I was like, oh, well, I guess I have to come back with the, uh, the Zix. So, crisis averted there. Okay, I'm gonna take point, actually, with this guy. I know, gosh. I actually did that the other day. That happened to me the other day and I used my crane. Maybe that's something I need to talk about on my on my tips video whenever I continue to make it. Anyways, um I just recently graduated from from my college. Um I was going to Embry Riddle and Aeronautical University. And uh just recently graduated. So I'm I'm job searching right now. Uh, and me and the wife are trying to find a house, stuff like that, and just... Life is... I feel like life has moved so fast, man. Like, things just blow by. But yeah, I'm just hoping I can, you know, hold a full-time job down and still be able to to produce content like this. I, I freaking love doing it, man. It's awesome. I think, like, the learning aspect is, like, probably my favorite part of it. Gosh, this is such a heavy load. See if high gear will give me any better speed. I'll probably stall out. Hey, what's up, Vincent? How you doing, man? But Vincent, I have the multi-stream going right now, actually. So, they're both working. I got them to work. I don't know how it happened. I think I just had to, like, reset some, some stuff. Okay, let's map this out, because I got to get over here. I might have to take both these vehicles separate. Uh, I want to take take a look. Actually, down this. Okay, I can go down that way. That's cool. Oh, okay. You're just chilling. Well, happy Sunday, man. Uh, happy Father's Day as well. Okay, so yeah, we'll go down this way. Then I need to. I'm actually going to take this all the way down and then come up through here because this is the easiest way to go. The fuel bunk? Where's that at, actually? You mean like here? This fuel station? Oh, you mean like down here, I think, the fuel station? Yeah, I completed this map too. So like, I'm actually gonna need to show anybody. So I've completed all of these maps. Ba basically like every mission, um, every task, every contract per se. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, that's, I forget, that's a, that's a task from like p pulling this like, I think fuel thing up here. Yeah. I wish that fuel station was like down here. Like right here, it'd be perfect, man. Or like up here but unfortunately it's right there but anyways I'll show you guys my my contract so I've completed everything the block missions and then these are basically all in the northern what's, what's that map called northern Aegis installation 
And like, yeah, these are all going there and then bringing stuff back or just doing stuff there. So yeah, I'm on my last map now. Pretty, pretty dang exciting, honestly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we'll stop blabbering on. So actually what I'm going to do is, since I'm close to the garage, I'm going to bring a fuel truck down real quick. Hopefully this makes it. So something I found out, and this is a vehicle I'm, I'm actually going to do, I think it was uh, another viewer, I forget his name. He's always in here. I think his, his name is the next, bex, the next big thing. For the next best thing. Um, he requested this truck, so... And I haven't been really messing around with it that much, but... I started putting these dually tires on the back. I think these are the OHDs. And I almost feel like using the OHDs over the mud tires are a better option. Yeah, it is, man. It's a really good truck. It just eats up so much fuel, but if you can keep fuel in it, man, it's it's really good. I like it a lot. And the crazy thing I noticed is um when I had the mud tires on and the single single tires not the dualies it was kind of tippy like even and i took off the the race suspension i have it on now but i took it off kind of like the other paystar just for stability and uh i don't know man i, I really as soon as i put these on i was like man i'll, I'll try out the, the race suspension again and see how it works and it seems okay so far so but we're gonna have a big test down here <laughs> going through all this stuff so this will be a test yeah it's i think it's probably the thirstiest truck i have ever driven to be honest yeah i mean it gets up into like eight like i've never seen a truck guzzle up to eight like eight gallons per minute i've never seen that before but this will get there hey what's up jc jackabo Welcome, man. Columbia. Well, welcome in, man. Thank you so much for stopping into the, into the stream. So we're just basically trying to get ourselves ready to go to the last map. I'm going to go fill up these trucks. I'm probably going to just follow this, them in into that portal, to be honest with this. Happy Father's Day as well. Happy Sunday. I'm not sure what day it is. I used to be a, a world traveler in the Air Force. Um, so yeah, I know about the time change. It's probably... Actually, it's probably similar time. That tree. Yeah, I know. Something I like about this truck, I feel like I'm rambling on, but it does have really good suspension. Like, you see this travel? Suspension travel in the back seems really good. Like it doesn't jar the truck around or anything like that, like that. So I think that's really cool. Okay, here's the test, man. Here's the here's the test, because here's I tip here all the time. Nope. On the power. Okay, let's see. I can put the diff lock on. me over a little bit. I'm gonna get like a running start at it. Yep, that worked. 
Yep, just the old trick. Just put all the all the power to the, the rear tires, and then just get going. I think I learned that from a viewer actually. Somebody was commented on one of my on one of my videos. Yeah, right there I probably should have tipped, but yeah man, I think this thing is not bad with the the big tires in the back of Dolly's. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think this thing is just so sluggish right now because this is like a, a massive fuel tank. So I'm not really sure what the, what the value of weight is, but yeah. I'll pull up Jason to these guys over here. I'm gonna have to tip myself over. Okay, we'll fill you up. It's it's awesome it's just that they gave this thing the biggest fuel tank in the game. Like Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think so too. I think so too, for sure. Okay, we'll take the Tega first. You'll be the, uh... Oh shoot, I don't know if I want to go down that way. I might just go through. And then down. Probably take these guys separately, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it does have a lot of power. I'm not sure if it has the... I think it has the Westline... The Westline engine in it. In it? I'm not sure. But I'm not sure if it's the V16 or the V12. Nope, you're not tipping me, my dude. So you did tip me. <laughs> okay, and here's why I love the sideboard bed. If it works. Yep. Just like that, man. Just things don't fall out. It's like such a... I know a lot of people that use the, um... The flatbeds, but... I just don't think a flatbed's a good idea. Especially here, man. Like... On the other maps, like, I would say, oh, let me see, like Michigan and Alaska, like, flatbeds are okay. Like, they work out pretty well. But stuff like that, like, that happened twice already in stream. Actually, that might have been the third time. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, so I, I think it's not that I'm brave, it's that I forgot about that spot. I haven't been back to Erska River in so long that I forgot about that. So that's really what happened. Okay, so let's get up this way. I think I'm going to have a lot of issues with the Zix, honestly, because of the, the cargo. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going this way now. Nope, don't you dare tip over. It doesn't matter. I'm going this way anyway. But yeah, this is why I love semi-trailers, because a semi-trailer just seems like a an extension of your truck. And I never thought about that, like whenever I started playing it first. But it basically is. It's like an extension of your vehicle. Opposed to like a hitch trailer where like they act like independently based upon like what terrain they hit. But you can definitely like have more control of a semi-trailer than you can a hitch. Okay, I'm gonna get up here. Oh yeah, this... Yeah, that's true. This riverbed is kind of tough. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about that muddy area back there where it was like between those trees? Is that the riverbed? Oh, no. Don't you dare get caught here. Cool. Nice. Just a little wiggle, you know? Gotta wiggle a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the riverbed. Yeah, man, I did not, did not want to go through that. I think the last time I went through that, all I did was winch. Let's kick this up here. Actually, I don't even know if I can get through this way. I can't. That's right, I can't. Okay, so we gotta spin around real quick. We gotta spin around and go that way. And then I'm gonna go grab the six and then bring him down. Really? Like, if I go through there? Shoot, let's try it. Where's that? Is it like through here? Like right through here? Shoot, let's try it out. Trying to think. I think it's right. Is it right there or up farther? Oh, it's up farther. Right here. It's right there. I don't know. Which one is? I think it's this one. Is it the left one or the right? I don't know. I think the right one looks kind of daunting, man. Oh, the right, it's the right? Okay, I'm going there. I don't get stuck here. Oh gosh, I think I am stuck. Oh my goodness, I did. I got myself high centered. Okay, no worries. I can go get the Zix. Alright, buddy boy. This guy is going a different route. I think I'm gonna, I might send, I might just freaking send it down this hill. Yep, that's what might happen actually. I gotta turn around though. This is why I'm not a fan of, uh, of hitch trailers here, because this is that stuff that gets kind of annoying. It's like turning turning them around, kind of gets like, kind of gets annoying. Like right now, if I keep backing up, I might, I'll probably flip this dude. But you have to kind of like MacGyver this stuff. I guess I'm gonna try to back up because I don't want to bring him down here because I know he'll tip okay let's go hopefully this works because I'm gonna kind of like dive basically front dive this stuff straight down so it doesn't really give the, the cargo a chance to tip over just kind of like send it Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to miss this rock, actually. Okay, let's go fast. So we can get this. Nice. Okay. Crisis averted. Let's go. This truck is a beast, man. Like, thank you. Appreciate it.
Oh, gosh. I stink and steer better than I thought. It's kind of weird. Like, it turns better than you think it would. Like, you think it would be like an Azov, where it kind of like turns really slowly, but no, <laughs> it turns. Like, it, it can really cut. All right, so what I'll do is, since he's already kind of like turned around, I'm actually going to spin and grab him and then go the long way just around this rock and then straight up through the, the ice. Actually, what I might do is... Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Which pace star? The, uh, the, the new pace star or the old one? The uh, 5070 or the 5600 TS? I haven't tried the, the 5600 TS with a... here. Hook up, spin this around, attach the Tega, and then just start pulling this sucker through. Okay. Feature where you can actually like toggle on and off the engines. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's just. Okay, nothing really stops this truck, honestly. Except for when I say it's nothing stops this truck and then something does stop it. <laughs> oh, the 5600? I'm gonna have to try that. I'm definitely gonna have to try that. Okay, let's see if I can get him up here without him tipping over first, and then I'll make this cut over here. This stuff is like super, super thick. I think I'm actually stuck the first time I'm stuck in this truck. Insane. Well, it's still moving, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I definitely will try the 5600 TS with that feature for sure. Yeah, I think I just got stuck. Well, kind of. Okay, let's just like this. Use my mouse here. see what you mean now. Yeah, I probably should have went around the rocks, honestly. Dang, Erska River is no joke, man. It's no joke. area is like it's like death mud death snow death mud should be almost out of it actually here okay, 
Gotta stop here. Jump, jump back in Ortega. Probably should have turned him off, but it's fine. Nope, not that. This is some death snow, man. It is, truly. I'm high centered, that's why. That's why it's being so bad. Oh man, this is bad. So what I'll do is I'll go like this. Kind of like MacGyver my way around. There we go. So much better. Alright, cool. Probably gonna turn back on daylight. Why can't I grab him? It's kinda odd. Whatever. Sometimes it does that. It like won't let you grab a winch. <laughs> oh, I grabbed the trailer. That's kinda funny. I didn't know I did that. Now, why is he there? How did he move? Oh, that's not good. Well, hopefully that... Like, how did he move on top of my roof? I mean, he's still packed. I don't get it. <laughs> I'll do that. After I get up to this little like waypoint I set, that blue thing, I'll uh I'll jump back in the pay star. Uh, I don't know if I want to turn here or not. I know I'm gonna cutting this corner the take is gonna be like wanting to hit that tree I'll stop right there for a second okay I thought this was gonna be super mud and I had to keep pulling him through but I'll just just go up here. So it's crazy because like these maps, they take it takes so long for it to do anything. Oh yeah, that's true. That is true. This is the contest, I think. Yeah, it's contest. I know he's hanging on for dear life right now. I just so I don't know how he's not tipped over. I seriously don't know how. It's like he has a foothold, like, right out there on the sideboard bed, and he's just, like, holding on for dear life. I'm gonna go up here and stop, and then I'll go grab the Tega, bring him up, and then go grab the, uh, the 5600. Because I want to see that way through, because I'm gonna have to use that, I think. Because I don't think I'm gonna make metal beams on this map. I just don't like crafting cargo. I think it's gonna be too too tedious. I know I'm probably gonna to have to like craft um, wooden planks already. And that's gonna be kinda of, kinda of tough. So Okay, P Star. Do it. Okay, we're gonna send it down this hill too. Cause I wanna see if I can stay upright.
we're gonna go in low gear. Okay, so I think if I can just like basically like hit it like this, I can keep it upright. Yep, yep, yep. Good stuff. So has anyone tried the this vehicle with the um, high range gearbox? I'm kind of wondering about it. Okay, I don't want to bust the tire. Let me slow down a little bit. Really? What do you think, Quentin? Is it good with the high range? Okay, let's see if this we can get through this way up here. Oh, okay. Shoot. Okay, Vincent. Is it this one right here? This rock, like in between here? I'm gonna have to use the high range then. I'll try it out. I've been kind of like trying out the high range a little bit more lately. It's kind of weird. Just to kind of like make up time here and there. Yeah, I think I think this is what Vincent was talking about this way. Okay, cool. So I'll go through. Let's do this. We're at the high center here, so let's uh, back this up a little bit. Try to get some speed going. I think we can make it. Should be able to make it. Oh yeah. Look at that suspension. Oh my gosh, the travel. Oh my goodness. I'm impressed. Oh, I see what you mean. Could have went on like the flat part. Okay. I think that, uh, thank you. I think that suspension was like, kind of saved me there. It flexed a lot. I think I might as well just go refuel these guys while I'm here. But like any other map, if I said like, hey, all right, I'm gonna go to this next map, you would think like, eh, it'll take you like two minutes. This map, are these areas? No, it takes you like, gosh, I've been on stream for an hour. Oh no, the low finally went. Gosh, man, it's not what I wanted to happen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have to try to see if I can use the Tega's crane to get him up there, but I seriously doubt it. I don't think it's strong enough. Yeah, I, just don't, I don't think it's strong enough. The Lofaholic. I wanna see how it does with its new engine too, so. Okay, let's see if I can get like super close here. Gotta get him close to my to my winch. To my I get up on it. Oh no! I almost got him. Sorry. Uh, sorry for screaming. <laughs> I was getting way too excited. Forgive me on that one. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I, I might try to pack him like this, honestly, like sideways. It might be worth it. You know what? I'm going to try to pack him like that. 
See if that works, you know? I don't know. We'll see. No! Okay, maybe not. The struggle is real right now. I thought maybe if I got close, you know, I could, like, have enough power to, like, hoist him up. But it's kind of hard. Let's see if I can get him, like... Because the closer I am to my truck, the better. I just don't know. Like, I'm... Awesome. Stefanos, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it, bro. Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday and happy Father's Day. Okay, let's see if this works. Can't pack truck? What? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here we go. No! Don't you do it. Don't you... Don't you do it. <gasps> oh my goodness, what am I doing? Thank you. Gosh, this is tough. Okay, there we go. Let's get it. Okay, now we just gotta get him on here. Cool, we're good to go. Okay. Alright, cool. Now, need to get back in the Tega. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was like, that was crazy. The quick winch. Loaf has saved the day. <sighs> Definitely saved him there. No, we can't leave it behind. I think I didn't want, I really didn't want to bring a scout because I've been usually just scouting with the bigger trucks, but I heard there's places that I can't get to with bigger trucks, so I thought I, I needed a scout. So let's move this guy out of the way. I love trailers that have the uh, the center winch point. They're so nice. I love it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. He's gonna give me a boost here, I know it. Come on, Tega, let's go. What's he doing? Like, why is he not, like... He should be trying to push me up. Oh, for real? Maybe I'll bring the 420 then. I'll just drive the 420 over after this, maybe. Crap, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's try to get the Tega over a little bit so he doesn't hit that metal beam.
it's weird. Like, I feel like the take is not even on right now, but it, I think it is. Because when I got stuck, it should have been, like, creeping up to, like, help me, like, push. Yeah, he's on his own. That's too heavy of a load. <laughs> Way too heavy. I can get him out of there. I mean, the Zix is amazing, but when you're pulling six, you know, two trailers, six metal beams, and a, and a loaf on top of your roof, like, <laughs> it's a lot to ask for. So, he did a good job. Yeah, I think the... I think the waypoint's actually over there, or the... Yeah, there it is. Anyways, th anybody who subscribed today, thank you so much. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Yeah, thank you for just coming and hanging out on a Sunday. Appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. Okay, we'll take him through because I kind of want to see this like little, little intro thing. And take a sip of my coffee, actually, too. All right, got the nerves out. This place looks so hard. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. Let's move him up a little bit and then go back and grab him. Okay. Let's go back. Grab this guy. Grab the Tega. Wait. Why, why is it taking me back to... Oh, that's right, I was in Ersker River. Okay. Take another sip of this coffee. Cool. Let's go. Oh yeah. Absolutely, dude. And that's that's why I brought all these over. Like, I probably need a... The Dairy Longhorn? I can use the Dairy. So, um... I, I definitely can get the Dairy to do some stuff with. Over here, for sure. Which one? The 420 or the... I think it's the 3194? Yeah, I definitely can bring the dairy. So what I'm doing is, um, I'm kind of just trying to set up shop over there right now. I'm probably going to bring trucks in that have, um, like one's going to have a low saddle, one's going to have a high saddle, um, sideboard bed, a fuel tray, a fuel truck, etc. You know, like, just kind of like, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's what I want. Something to get me over this hump. There we go. That's what I wanted. But yeah, I absolutely can use the Dairy Longhorn. I don't know. I don't even know if the 420, the 4520 can get up there. 
<laughs> you don't think it's a good idea? It is underpowered, man. And the crazy thing is, last night I was watching, uh... Last night... So last night was was my anniversary. We went, we went out to dinner. And, uh... My wife's been kind of sick. Um, she has, like, a sinus infection and stuff like that. So her na- her, like, her, she's been real, like, nasally lately. And I came back and, you know, she was just kind of, like, hanging on the couch. And I was watching, um, who was it? I think it was Mr. Lone Wolf. And he had the Dairy Longhorn mod. Like, it was, like, this mod of the Dairy Longhorn. And it was insane, dude. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. It's my first, uh, our first anniversary. So, we made it a year. Hopefully we can make it many more. God willing. Okay, let's go through here. Okay. So I know for a fact. Northern Asian. This looks so hard, man. I don't even, it's like I don't even know what to do. I think I need to go get the Tatrin, honestly. Okay, let's back this out. There. The fuel trailer to my left. Is there a fuel trailer on this map? Like over here? On the right. Dang, how come uh how come Map Runner doesn't have that on there? It's kind of weird. All right, so what I, I think I might just go Next to your truck. Oh, really? There's one right there? Let's see. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, that's huge, dude. Dude, good eye. Okay. So that needs to go to... To there. But I need to build... I need to build bridges. Oh my gosh, there's all these bridges, man. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Make sure... Okay, that's right. Oh yeah, that's right, because it's a mission, right? Because it... Okay. 10% thing. That's right. Okay, so what we're going to do... Actually... We're going to go down... This way... Because there's a rock slide right here... That requires middle beams... And I can offload one of those. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down that way. Maybe get that tower. First, but first of all. Let's, let's just get, get going down there, actually. Might just take this guy first. Okay. So let's see here. I'm going to need to find my way through. I don't like this path at all, man. I think I'm going to take the big path. Go through the, the nasty snow. If there is nasty snow, I don't even know. We'll see. I just got to hit this right. I don't want this stuff to go. Nope. Don't you do it. Let me have that. Okay, whatever. I'll grab this then. Oh, for the unlimited fuel thing, yeah. I might do that, actually. Just put this there so it doesn't tip. Okay, now... 
gonna put this here so it doesn't tip too. Cool. All right, let's go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, Vincent. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that probably to like the area, I guess, and then use the fuel as much as I can, and then turn it in maybe like last or something like that. It's a, it's a really good plan, actually. Kind of glad you brought that up, because I wasn't really thinking about that. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to. It's a learning process. Nope, not. Let's go. Okay, so it's dipping that way. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna try to kick my front end over. Like this a little bit. Actually, so then what I might do is just leave it there. Depending on like what what tasks are over there and missions, like, maybe I'll just use that as like a fuel stop area, going in and, in and out the portal or the tunnel or whatever. Maybe that's a good spot for it for now. Do you think Do you think so? Just leaving it there. Is this Is this the the rock slide? Oh shoot! I think I'm in the wrong landslide. I think I am in the wrong landslide. Okay, cool. I'll just leave it there. In the world? Shoot, I need metal beams. Or I need wood planks. stop I wonder if I can get the Tega through here I'm thinking I have to how bad is this trail is this trail really bad or can can I get the Tega through there with the oh shoot I might be able to I might just give it a shot okay I'm gonna try it. But first, I'm gonna get some fuel. Okay, so we're gonna try to go, like, unlock this landslide. And then I'll go get the, uh, Tatrin. And maybe pull another vehicle with him, I guess. Or something along those lines. Oh, wait a second. In the world? I thought it filled me up. Oh gosh, yeah, it is. It's going to be a challenge with this thing on top of my head, too. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of, like, trees and stuff. But let's just... Let's send it, man. See what we got. Okay, shoot. All right, I got I got a plan then. I got a plan. Maybe I'll do that. I'm actually going to listen to you guys here. 
I'm gonna do that. But what I'm gonna do is... No, no, I don't wanna grab that. Why is it not the same tree? There we go. back this up a tiny bit. Okay. That's exactly what I'm going to do, actually. Is I'm going to use the Zix. I'm going to detach here. Because I'm going to leave this trailer. So I'm going to come back for it. And then I'm just gonna pack, put a piece of cargo in there because I only need one, one metal beam to fix that uh, that roadblock. So I'll fix that roadblock, and then we'll, we'll continue. Nah, uh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you guys said something because I would have definitely like went through there and probably have like with my skills, I probably would have tipped it. So I have this will be my sideboard vehicle. The Tega has the low hitch. I need a high hitch out here. I know I need a high hitch out here. And then the tanker is gonna be there. I have another tanker on the way. And I'll probably need a scout. I have and I'll be bringing out the, the Tatrin too so okay yeah I figured for those like big ones where you carry like the uh I don't know, the rocket parts or whatever. I, I kind of knew. We deliver those trailers. I kind of knew that. I felt it was going to be kind of like a Mandra. You know what I'm saying? Where you, you have to do that stuff. Let's come down a little bit. And I can get rid of this thing. It's been like bothering me. Let's see if I can pack that and watch. Yep. Good stuff. Oh yeah. Hopefully. I think before I do all those, I'm gonna definitely knock out these tasks. These maps that don't have garages are always the hardest. Oh really? Oh gosh, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I have something to look forward to. I'm actually gonna dip down here. Then hit this over like this.
very sweet. Oh great. So it's kind of like the uh, like the one in Amandra where you have to like drag it through that pass and it just gets caught up on everything. And then you're constantly like winching. Yeah, I kind of I kind of thought that. Wow, this is nuts up here, dude. I'm just going to stick it in low. We'll just crawl around. Yeah, I don't think the Tega would have survived this. You know, it's pretty dang stable, but... Oh my goodness, dude. This is insane. This is seriously insane. Oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? <laughs> Alright, I got a plan. Two hours? Wow, dude. Okay, so I'm going to actually dip down. I don't think going, just trying to like, wing it is the right idea. I think dipping down here, then kind of like, going this way is the better option. This rock here. Yep, there we go. Sweet. I think if I was in the Tatrin right now, I would I would like be driving without care. Oh, there's another loaf. Look, dude, it's your cousin. Hmm. I'm like debating on pulling him out. Where's that guy from? Give me a second here. Figure out. Oh no, that's from a ta I think it's from a contract. Let me see this. I know I know it is. There it is. To the evacuation point. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not worried about that right now. Not right now. Well, Vincent, if it took you two hours, then it's probably going to take me like four or five. I wonder if I recorded it. I might just record it and see how long it is. Whenever I do it. Hopefully it'll be on stream. Here's what we're going to do. I can't believe the I can't believe the loaf is still on there. Oh my goodness, I can't believe. What part are you getting stuck at? Is it are you getting stuck on this map or like whenever you're taking it over to like Urska? I'm not, I'm not sure where you take it, but I'll have to take a look at it, but I'm probably guessing it's this map from, like, my my experience so far. Goodness. There's no way the Teo would have made this. Oh, okay, getting out of this map. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting done, honestly, with this. Because I kind of want to move on to um, the Kola Peninsula. I feel it's not going to be as tough this time, second time around. Especially Lake Cove. Lake Cove won't be as bad. Are you serious? Man, congrats. Congrats. Oh, 
hang on one second. The wife's calling me. Sweet. Okay, I'm back. My wife's at the grocery store right now, so she's like... Oh, I bet, man. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm kind of, like, excited for it. Especially, like, now that I have this. Like, I feel like it's going to be really easy. rock because I know it's going to keep me up right. Okay, sweet. Okay, I think we're almost out, to be honest. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm trying to, dude. I mean, I think, like, I think that's the thing, like, I think I talked about this a little bit earlier in the stream, is I want to do, a, like, a, a tips video where, like, but not like, you know, like the normal tips, like tips and tricks or whatever. I want to do something where it's like to like advance, like advanced tips, I guess you would say. Like things to make more efficient gameplay. Because I feel like we get hung up a lot. Like, I don't know, like the whole thing with, you know, tipping and losing cargo. Then you have to like restart the mission and rescuing. Like I want to do stuff to like prevent that. Yo, Kara Ben Omar, what is up? I haven't seen you in a while, man. How you doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Father's Day as well. You guys have all probably all completed this game and just watching me struggle, so <laughs> kind of funny. Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, thank you. Without internet, gosh. Okay, this is what I wanted to unlock right here. Okay. Wait, it's two beams? I thought it was one. No. What in the world? Cargo management. I thought it was two. I thought it was one beam. That's weird. Oh shoot, it was too. Huh. Oh. Oh, that's right, Quentin. You have still need to work on it. Yeah. It is. That, that definitely is an under underutilized tactic. Oh. Yeah, Kara. Um, so what I... Actually, I got a new... I got a new PC. And I also altered my, my stream to where it's like ultra, ultra low latency. So everything is basically like instant. Like your messages and like everything should be coming in instant, honestly. It just depends on how fast I can I can reply. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We need to go back to Erska. I'll bring him through later. And I need to grab the Tatrin. Yeah, it's not instant, but it's it's definitely much better, for sure. I think last time, um, last time you saw me, it was on, like, normal latency. So I guess that's, like, it has a, a big delay, I guess. So. Okay. Where's the Tatrin? There he is. Let's switch him up here. Oh, I like the green. I like that. So maybe I should bring another truck with him because I'm... 
Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good that it's faster now. That's really good, actually. Alright, so... Let's see here. I'm trying to think. I'll go back to the garage, because... I want to kind of, like, plan... Basically, the truck that I choose is going to be the one I I pull out all that big stuff with. Oh, that's right. Shoot, I need I, I do need wood planks. Okay. Right. Actually, hold up a second. Let me see something. Raj. Oh. Oh my gosh. Don't even. Um, okay, so. Oh yeah, I need some with the high hitch. I'm wondering if... Okay, so. Amor. My thoughts on it. Uh, I would say... Let me bring up my map here. So, Urska River and Cosmodrone. Um, I felt they were very trollish. Lots of, like, super snow, super mud. Um... I think Erska was harder just because um, I leaned on you guys a lot when I first started. And yeah, it was just really hard. And then Cosmo Drone didn't seem as bad because, well, it, it didn't seem as bad after I got the Zix, but it still was pretty hard. Um, there was this task. Okay, I have to bring this up. This task right here is called Me Meteo Point. And I tried to pull that little scout trailer with the con up here and he would just not climb this this rock so i had to bring trucks up here and then like pull him up and it was just a nightmare but yeah but other than that i think my favorite map is is cherno this map was like so nice to play like yeah you had like these super loads you know that you kind of have like in um in alaska like those super order missions or whatever but other than that, it was like really, really good. I enjoyed this one thoroughly. All right, Vincent, thanks for stopping in, man. I appreciate it. I'll catch you later, man. Have a great Sunday. Okay, let's see here. Let's go back to... Okay. I need to do some planning. Oh. Oh. My gosh, I, I gotta go get so many. Okay, so here's the dilemma I have. Okay, so hear me out. I could go get logs from here, bring them over to the sawmill, and then create them and then usher them, basically like ferry them back across the map through here and then, you know, to the location. Or I could go to Cosmo Drone, come right out of the garage, go through here, and then grab them here and then just go back out. And then across the map. So it's like, which one? It's like, which one do you do? So I don't even know yet. But right now, I'm just gonna go explore with the Tatcher and honestly. Yeah, I'm just gonna go explore with the Tatcher in a little bit with my last like 30 minutes. Yeah, actually I might do that. I might do that. So I'll probably need to do the long logs. I think the only, my only hesitation with, um, no, oh shoot, I need to get over here. My only hesitation with, with doing that with the logs and then like taking them to the sawmill is 
after I use those trailers, I'm going to have to bring them back to the garage. And that's going to take extra time as well. Because, like, I'm not a person who just leaves, like, trailers out. So, like, I know for a fact that I'm going to have to bring those back. And that's going to take time as well. Unless I, I just, like, I do the short logs. So, and I know the short logs don't make as much wood planks. But I guess I'll probably just do both and see how it works out. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm not I don't do that actually. I'm just like I don't like I don't like doing that. That stuff drives me nuts. Like I have to have like a clean map kind of or or close to. Like I don't even like how do I say this? this is going to sound so weird, but even cargo I'll go and clean up cargo. Like if I leave cargo on a map I'll go like with a truck, crane it up, and then just destroy it. Like if I'm if I'm done with everything, I just like to know that I'm like done. I guess it's just weird. It's such a weird habit. <laughs> Keeping the wilds pristine. Yeah, <laughs> exactly right. Okay. I'm glad somebody else does it. I think, like, anytime I watch, um, like, Mr. Lone Wolf, dude's a, he's a boss. He really is. But every time I watch, like, like, the stuff that he has everywhere over the map, like, I think I get, like, OCD. What am I doing? Oh man, I, I sell. I sell all my trailers on every map. There's not been a map I've played where I haven't sold everything off. And then, like, right before I go to another map, I make I make sure I, I go clean everything up. And then, like, I don't know. Yeah, dude. It's funny though, it's it's funny seeing his uh his little like graveyards that he has. Oh shoot, I don't wanna get high centered. Please don't get high centered. I forgot this thing doesn't like rocks. Oh, I see. Yeah man, hard mode is gonna be weird because of that. That was like, selling trailers is like a huge boost, do you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, yeah, all his trailers he has are just insane, dude, everywhere. The cargo everywhere that's come out and done, like... He's funny though. I like him. That's the thing, man. I like all the all the like. Actually, I don't know any other streamer. He's the only really like big streamer. I'm gonna go this way, actually. I think he's the only like YouTuber that plays this game that actually streams. Like the the one ones that are like have large accounts. So it's really fun like seeing him interact with people and stuff like that. Oh my god. The Tatrin, are you gonna get stuck? Oh no, no, no way. Not you. Not you. <laughs> insane truck, man. Insane. Okay, I'm at the flinch. <laughs> Taking too long.
cool, that'll work. Man, this stuff is like so, like super. I think I'm out of it now. I'm coming out of it. You can tell it's super snow when it looks blue like that. Like when it's like deep blue, it's almost like teal. I feel like every time I go through like really big super snow, it always turns that color. It's kind of weird. Never heard about super snow. Oh no. Um, I mean, in Mandra and Lake Cove have it too. It's just basically that snow where it's like, you're just basically like sitting there wheel spinning the whole time. I think this is a good time to bring him through too. So, come on, mate. Oh gosh. Come on, push me. Give me a nice little push. Here we go. Yeah, that's basically just the super snow effect that Snow Runner has. Patron's a beast, man. Oh my goodness. So actually, uh... Kara, I'm actually gonna make you a mod, too. So there's I'm gonna have three mods, three moderators. Uh, Vince, Vincent's one, Quentin's one. And I'm gonna make you one as well. And I think that's gonna be it. And yeah, just because you guys have been here since the start, and also, yeah, you guys are kind of like all always around. Not really always around, but you guys make a point to stop in. And I definitely appreciate that. Or. But yeah, I just want to make you guys mods because I, you guys definitely support the channel for sure. So I will do that after the stream's over. Shoot, I should have like, I wonder if I can do it now. Oh, I can't now. Oh, that's right. I can't right now. I know when I can. I can do it after stream. Um, I think it's... I'm not really sure, honestly. I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna have to check what, what it actually, like, all entails, but... Basically, like, you just moderate chat. Like, whenever you're in, it, it has... You know what I'm saying? It's not really, like... I know that... <laughs> it's not, like, a requirement to, like, show up the stream at all. Like, never, dude. Like, everybody has lives. Like, if you don't want to watch, don't watch, you know? But it, it's basically... You would just moderate stream, like... Anybody saying anything crazy? Okay, so let's see here. Just too much stuff. Rock slide. But yeah, I'm gonna check on what the mod privilege does. I think you can do more things with the mod privilege. It's not like I have like, <laughs> you know, 100 people in my chat anyway, so, but. Okay. Ah, uh, shoot. I want to check something, actually. No, stop that chain. I really do think... Now I'm, like, thinking about it. I really think I should probably work on unlocking this. Because this is kind of like my way around. No, no way. It's not going to attract crazy people. I don't think it ever will, but 
It definitely never will. I definitely want to have like people that I like be mods. Okay, shoot. Yeah, I definitely want to like get this unlocked. Yeah, it has been growing a little bit. I'm just glad people are honestly, I'm just glad they're liking the content. If they like, if it's helping them, then that's all really that counts. Okay, so I want to see how much logs cost. Yeah, I seen that. It's kind of crazy. Um, let's see here. It's going to churn out. Actually, no, it's not that map. Erska. Okay, short logs get you one. Long logs get you four. Oh, goodness. Okay. I think what I'm going to have to do is <laughs> I definitely have to go do this. I don't want to do this. I'm gonna go to Cosmo Drone, and I'm just gonna haul. I'm gonna haul some uh, some planks. Ryan L, what's up, man? Thanks for stopping in. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday and Happy Father's Day. Mm, let's see here. I can think of a truck that has good range and get across that ice. Thanks, Kara. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I'm not sure how to, like, get the word out and, like, see if anybody's, like, interested in... in learning. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people just want to see mods. You know what I'm saying? And that's there's nothing wrong with that. Like, mods are freaking awesome. I'm gonna take this guy out. Actually, no. I use him all the time. Yeah, another Zix. Ooh. Actually, I don't have enough to buy another Zix. I'm trying to think of a truck that can get there fast. And grab that stuff. It has good range. Not the dairy. The Dan is probably a pretty good choice. The front overhang is going to be an issue. Honestly, I could use a Dan. Because it has good... Um, so what I'm gonna do is... Western Star. Okay, I can... Shoot, I can use the Western Star. Why not? Let's do it. I know, I know, I know, that's what I'm saying, Quentin. I'm actually going to use the Western Star and the Dan right now. Because I'm gonna have to shuttle two times. I wanna get a bunch of cargo. Um, I gotta read this chat, hold on a second. Yo, I manufactured steel pipes. Okay, so you you manufactured steel pipes at the factory, but accidentally put them on the crane. So you put them on the manual loading dock instead of directly on your truck. Um, okay, so the bad thing is you can't undo that. So what you have to do is you just got to go get a, a vehicle with um, a crane. Honestly, that's going to... It sucks. I've done it. Dude, I've done that so many times where... Because I never used to run around with a crane. So you're gonna have to go get a crane and then just manually crane them onto the vehicle. Well, yeah, it sucks, man. I've done it so many times. Oh, no, no worries, dude. I, I love this vehicle. Okay, we're gonna switch this color up too. Oh, I like that green. I 
don't got much time, much more time to play. I'll probably play for like another 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm going to have to work on dinner and stuff like that. So, Oh, a heap of work. Yeah, that's to open up this map, I think. Okay, hold on a second. I need to do something. I need to put a crane on this. Uh, shoot. Because... Yeah, heap of work. It's hard. Unlock it. This, these maps are insane, man. They are so hard. Okay, so let's see. I don't remember. Let me go over to Dan real quick. I'm pretty sure I can't use the small crane on this. I'm almost positive. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, that's fine. Danny boy. Danny boy. The good tipper. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. I could name the uh, the white western star. Could just be Wes. Oh, Wes and Danny Boy here. Okay, let's get you outside this this garage here, and we'll just we'll do a little. That's so funny. Yes, the uh, the western star is on the is on the Smithfield Dam. I'll show you actually right here. Hold on a second. Let me pull it up. Okay, so Michigan, Smithfield Dam. Okay, the Western Star. I'm going to zoom this. I can't really zoom out for some reason. It's kind of weird. All right, so the Western Star is right here, man. It's down here. So what what, what happens? And this is tough because um, Wesley Crusher. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, it is. So it, it is kind of crazy to do. So first, I'll tell you about the Western Star. Okay, so it's down here. I pulled it up. Honestly, I pulled it up here without repairing it and back to the garage. But the easiest way to do it, honestly, is just repair the thing. So when you repair it, at least get its wheels and its suspension off the ground so you don't have resistance. And then when you bring it up here, don't take it through these rocks. Literally bring it right up through here. You can get it through these trees, I promise. And then you can either come like this way or you can like dip down in here and then just like use the winch to winch you like to winch you and then winch him and then just pull him up through and then you can pull him through these trees. It just takes some finessing to do. It's not too hard. But I remember when I first did it. Oh my gosh, it was so hard, man. That mission took me forever. Okay, so the Zix. The Zix. Let's see. Holy Dan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can just recover it. I don't think you can. But the thing is, you have to. I think the mission means you have to like recover it to the garage, or you have to bring it back to the gar garage to like get the mission done. I think so. Yeah, you can, Kara. That's that's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> Honestly, that's really impressive. Dang. That is really impressive. Okay, so to get the Zix. The crazy thing about getting the Zix, um, Ryan, is that there's a blockage right here. Okay? I would work on getting this blockage unblocked. Here's your garage. Get this blockage unblocked. And then make your way down here. Okay, across here, come over this way. You'll come across this bridge. I'm pretty sure this bridge stays, it, you don't have to repair it at all. But after you get across this bridge, you go like through here. And then there's like, you can either, you can't go down on the ice right here because this rock comes to the ice edge. So you can actually go through here, right? Or like there's a pass you can get through. And then after you get through there, literally like the Zix sits right here. And you just have to repair it.
What do you mean, do you still own it then? Is it not clear my routes? Okay, there we go. Yeah, Ryan, no worries, man. Absolutely. Any way I can help, dude, for sure. So hold on, I'm just catching up on chat. Oh, okay, so... Okay, here's the crazy thing. So, Kara, I tried to do this. This is what I tried to do. I tried to do that. I initially... Here's what I did initially. I initially brought the, the Azov 64131. And I came down here. I jumped... I think through these woods, came down, jumped through here, and then I tried to, I, I made my way down here, right? And I tried to cross here. The thing is, you can't, like, unless your vehicle has, like, it's super long and has many tires. My front overhang kept hitting, and I could not get, get across, and I actually fell in. But if you have a super long vehicle, you might be able to. Okay, yeah. So after you after you um pull the Western Star back to the garage, yeah. You immediately can like jump inside of it and then recover it to the garage or just like drive it to the garage and enter. Oh yeah, towing it is a pain. But if you repair it, honestly, if you can just repair it as much as you can, it makes it easier. But yeah, like like Kara said, the fleet star can do it. Like, it legitimately can do it. So I'm gonna go get these met these uh wooden planks over here. That's true. You might be able to do it. Actually, hold on a second. I know there was a crossing. Okay, so... Ah... Uh, okay, so he, here's another. Actually, no. It wouldn't work. So this... I think there's a crossing here that you could probably go across over the Antarctic. But the problem is, is this. This bridge here, I'm pretty sure is broke. I'm pretty sure you have to repair this bridge. That's the issue. So I don't know if anybody finds out something different, but you might be able to do this though. I think you can get across here. Hold on a second, let me restart. I think when you come across, you might be able to jump over to here and then over. I haven't tried that. Maybe I should like look at that. Yeah, no worries, man. I'm, I'm always glad to help. Dude, I love... I think, that, like, one of my the most exciting thing is, like, seeing people that, like, just started playing the game and they're, like, they're just discovering trucks like the Western Star and stuff like that. Like, that stuff is exciting to me. I got, I got high-centered. Oh, why'd I do that? I always hit the... Oh yeah, that's so true. That is so true. That's a cool thing, man, is just watching how people, like, problem solve. Yes, the Western Star is a good truck, dude. So, I don't know, if you if you watch my video on the Western Star, um, I think, I think it's amazing, I don't think it's amazing, um, I think it's a very balanced vehicle like a lot of vehicles have like huge upsides but the uh or like huge downsides huge up huge upsides there's always like a little like gimmick right like they either have like huge power but they burn a lot of fuel the, the western star is like just balanced man it's just a very balanced workhorse vehicle And that's why I think I like it. I like, I, I love balance. 
And the thing is, it's it's good. So the thing is, you you have to have the uh, the all-wheel drive upgrade. And I think it's found in Smithfield Dam as well. So make sure you get that. And also, um, the the diff lock is on Island Lake, I think. Oh, dude, I'm still a newbie too. I'm absolutely still a newbie. I'm right there with you. Yeah, that's true. Ryan, that's true. It does later on, like you're gonna you'll find better trucks to use. That is true. It, it's still good. It's still a really good truck. Absolutely. Actually, not even you. I'm gonna go back and get this guy. Go pull him over here. But yeah, the Western Star, it's it's very stable. It's a stable truck, too. That's why I like it a lot. Um, because, you know, like, vehicles like, you know, the, the GMC, the Fleet Star, and then, you know, some other trucks like that. Like, they're really tippy, and, like, you know, you're just tipping over nonstop. And then, whenever you jump into this thing, it's just like... I don't want to say it's, like, night and day, but... I don't know, it's kind of, you take it, it's like taking a breath of fresh air, you know? I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I definitely will. Definitely will. We're actually going to dive down in here. You know what I think? And uh, I have a speculation. There's another streamer I watch on Twitch. Um, his name is Alien Pirate. And I believe, I really think, like, back in the day, the Western Star was a lot better. And I think they dumbed it down a little bit. Like... And that's what he was thinking because he he's played it a lot. So, Tegan Griswold, what's up, man? Hi, what? How you doing? Nikki Crocker, what's up? Happy Sunday, Happy Father's Day. Welcome in. But yeah, I think I think they did nerf the. Uh, the Western Star a little bit. So I know people used to rave about it, and it used to be really good. It still is really good, but I, I think they just nerfed it a little bit. Or that's what my friend has speculation on, but who knows. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a really small YouTuber, honestly. <laughs> I don't really have a big following. I just... I like doing this. It's enjoyable. I like trying to help people if I can. With the little knowledge that I have. <laughs> I don't really have much knowledge, but... Whatever I have, I try to help people. Oh, the P6... The P12? I think you... So, Liam, I think... I think you mean the P16. Because I think you... Where did you find the... That truck? Ryan, that's a pretty sweet idea. That's actually a really good idea for gameplay. Like keeping a truck in its in its place. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh. Oh, okay. The uh P16. 
Okay, so the P-16, here's the thing. You have... For the P-16 to be a monster, and I think it is a monster, I really do. I love that truck. Um, let's see if I can get some speed here to get across this ice. Um, I would... Come on, baby. Okay, I need to hit this better. Uh, you need to have... Um, what's it called? The engine. The max engine is found in, in Drummond Island. I would say you need that. Absolutely, man. Once you get that engine, I think it's like the... I think it's the Westline V12. It might be the V12. Gosh, I gotta like slam it. Let's see if I can get across right here. No! Don't push me over. Okay, I gotta readjust. Readjust this trailer issue, dude. Let's see if I can go. Here. Let's see if I can get Come on. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, appreciate it, man. Thank you for that. Tegan, thank you. I mean... You know, if, if people like it and they like to subscribe, that's fine. If not, like, whoever wants, you know, whoever, you know, enjoys the channel and they feel it helps them, then I'm, I'm happy. That's basically it. It's a, it's a really fun hobby, man. I, I really, or, you know, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, uh, more is so hard. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it doesn't have the low saddle. That's true. Oh, gosh. I got high centered. I did that. Oh, that's my fault. Okay, so here we go. White Western Star. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know why it didn't give me a, a notification, actually. A notification should have popped up. But thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. My, my, uh, what's it called? My notifications were working earlier. They worked twice, but I'm sorry if it didn't work. Okay, so I might try to, like, dart across this ice here and get over there. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be really hard. Because this is, like, a really, really tough part to get across. Let's get some speed. If I can get across here. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to push him. But I'm going to actually maneuver this trailer. Oh, okay. Sweet. Thank you. Man, I, re I really appreciate everybody. All your subs, man. Like, likes, everything. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Tegan Griswold, thank you so much for the subscription. There it is. I knew it worked. I knew it worked. Okay, let's see here. Alright, hold on a second. Let's see if I can get myself adjusted. I think I'm high centered. No, not yet. Here's, here's what I know what I'm going to do. I know, I'm kind of like caught up here right now. But I think I can get out. If I can just get my tires to grip right here, I'll be golden. I might have to bring a third truck, but I don't know. We'll see. No, I don't have to. So what I need to do is this. I need to go this way. Leave my front tires up on here. Uh, 
Um, I... So I play on PC, actually. Um... Yeah, I play on PC. I love console, though. I should have put it on the stream details, honestly. I, I'll do that next time. Yeah, I just play with a PS4 controller in hand. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. We're gonna save this guy, I'm telling you. Oh, I did already? Okay, cool. I didn't know if I had it on there or not. Um, I don't know. I guess it's just because I, I love PS4. Yeah, I think it's just because I like PS4. And, um... Uh, so I used to use mods, but... Um, the thing is, when I used mods before, um, it deleted my game. <laughs> so I actually, I probably would be done with this region, but it deleted my, my game back in phase two. Yeah, the steering wheels looks awesome. I don't know if you guys have seen anybody play with them, but they look so cool. Oh, you have the steering wheel for the Xbox? That's pretty sweet, man. Um, the mods from uh, this web, this game. Yeah, I just got them from the game. The mods like browser thing that you have. That's where I, I had them. Honestly, the steering wheel will be pretty worth it. Oh, okay. So you have the... It's probably not as like... For like racing games, you're probably like manipulating the steering wheel like quite a bit. You know what I'm saying? Like... But like... <laughs> it's, it's tough to say this, but like... SnowRunner is not really like a huge action game. You know what I mean? It's more like a slow and steady. So. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, anyways, I gotta head out, guys. Yeah, Vincent, I'm, I'm gonna be heading out. I gotta go help with groceries and stuff, so... Um, anybody who came out and subscribed, liked, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So, this Friday will be another video. So, hopefully, I'll have that ready for everybody and stuff, so... I would stream longer, but I got stuff I gotta do. So, anyways, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great Father's Day. Happy Sunday. And we'll see you later. God bless. See ya.